8 year 5th semester uh, VTU students uh, especially civil stream students hope you are doing well your examinations are very near so this is your scoring package for your first subject construction management and entrepreneurship 5th semester civil stream BCV 501 is its subject code let me discuss here the scoring content okay so from the module first uh, we are having some super important questions and numericals also so first of all go through define construction project formulation and explain its importance in construction management what is scope management discuss its significance in construction projects discuss the statutory and regulatory requirements for obtaining layout and building plan approval what is the importance of fire and safety regulations in construction projects fifth one we are having explain the different types of project planning in construction management and also discuss the steps involved in creating a construction project plan what is a work breakdown structure and how is it used in project scheduling explain the purpose of bar charts in project scheduling with examples discuss a case study on project scheduling using cpm or pert method explain uh, the significance of cost evaluation and optimization in project management these are the theoretical questions from module first if you want to score more than 90 marks in this particular subject so numericals are here develop a wbs for a small residential building project calculate the critical path for a given project network diagram so there will be a diagram given in the question you have to use critical path method okay for a given project network diagram using pert determine the probability of completing a project with a specific time solve problems related to sequencing and dependency in a construction project so this is all about your module first coming to module second we are having what are the factors affecting the labor output De uh, discuss on class of labor enumerate the classification of construction equipment with subclass define labor production rate or productivity discuss the factors affecting productivity explain minimum wages act 1948 the labor welfare fund act 1965 fifth one we are having explain the importance of resource management in the construction of a project discuss the types of maintenance what are the factors influencing inventory management enumerate the factors to be considered for selection of construction equipments and for uh, numericals you have to refer 18 cv 51 papers okay if you are not having the papers you can comment down so that i can upload uh, the 18 cv 51 papers on my instagram account over there okay so coming to module third we are having define procurement and explain the various types of procurement used in uh, construction projects next one we have discussed the stages of procurement management in detail what is sustainable procurement discuss its importance in the construction industry define a construction contract and explain its essential elements discuss the different types of construction contracts uh, with examples fifth one we are having what are the roles and responsibilities of a contractor and a subcontractor in construction projects sixth one we are having explain the tendering process in construction projects uh, what are the key steps involved in the preparation of a tender document seventh one we are having what is the significance of proper documentation in construction contracts what is the role of compensation in resolving claims and disputes ninth one we are having defined breach of contract and discuss its steps with examples what are the key steps uh, involved in project completion and closure so no need to worry about uh, the quantity of the questions were here okay uh, the main thing is uh, you should focus on the key points only and try to understand the theory in your own convenient language then uh, you can write down the theory in the examination in your onwards okay only thing is uh, you should remember the key points only okay so next one the numerical and case study questions are having uh, develop a procurement plan for a small residential project analyze a case study on contractor claim as a dispute and resolution so prepare a tender evaluation matrix for a highway construction project and number four solve a problem involving compensation calculation in case of a project delay so one thing i want to add over here if you want to pass only this particular subject then you have to go through three modules fully and taking the super important questions from other two modules okay that is the passing strategy if you want to score more then you have to definitely go for all the content which is present in this package so you can score more than 90 marks for sure so coming to module 4 we are having defined quality management and explain its importance in construction projects discuss the components of an effective quality management system uh, qms and what are the common barriers to implementing quality management in construction 
explain the tools and techniques used in quality management what is the role of occupational health and safety in quality management what are the key uh, safety requirements in construction projects define risk management and explain its relevance to construction projects what are the key steps involved in the risk management process Eighth one, we are having discussed various risk response strategies, example avoidance, mitigation, transfer, acceptance. What is a completion certificate and why it is important in construction projects? Last one, we are having explain the process of obtaining an occupancy certificate. So coming to module fifth, last one, explain the key characteristics of a successful entrepreneur with examples. Describe the different stages of the entrepreneurial journey explain various entrepreneur styles and their significance discuss the personality traits essential for entrepreneurship what is the 5m model and how it is applied in the entrepreneurship define communication breakdown and miscommunication how can they be rectified outline the steps involved in the business planning process discuss the importance of a marketing plan in business planning or write the guidelines for preparing a model uh, project report for a new venture what are the dif different modes of entering international business what is venture capital and discuss its role in promoting entrepreneurship explain the concept of direct foreign investment and its importance for entrepreneurs okay this is all about your first subject vcv501 i hope you will go through this uh, content and you can score more than 90 marks in this particular subject so my best wishes are with you dear friends so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you for watching this video